The gentleman yields, and the chair recognizes the general, gentlewoman from Arizona, Ms. Lesko. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Secretary, for being here. I want to ask you about the Energy Policy and Conservation Act and changes in appliance efficiency mandates. Um, specifically, yes or no, do you agree that appliance regulation should be technologically feasible? Yes. And yes or no, do you agree that appliance regulation should not increase net costs costs for consumers? Yes. Yes or no, do you agree that appliance regulation should save a significant amount of energy? Yes. Efficiency mandates increase the upfront cost of appliances, which can really hurt low-income families and renters who do not have the luxury of waiting years for the energy savings to break in, to break even. Yes or no, do you agree that three years is a reasonable payback period for efficiency regulations? Um, I, think it, I think it depends. I think it depends. And if it's not three years, how long do you think the American people should have to wait for a DOE efficiency mandate to save money? Well, I think ideally you'd like it to actually have that payback in the first year if it's possible, but it may not be in the first year. That's why the benefit of having what Congress passed on these efficiency rebates um, gives people the ability to reduce their costs immediately and buy a more efficient appliance that allows them to save money over the course of time. And, uh, you know, these, these uh, efficiency rules have saved standards, the standards have saved consumers more than $2 trillion. Yeah. Uh, by 2030. So it's a really important way of reducing um, costs for thank people. Thank you. And so I would love to, for it to be a payback in one year too, but it, I'll, I'll settle for three years. But yesterday you finalized a rule DOE did on gas-fired storage water heaters, and the payback is 9.1 years. Um, that seems like an awful long time uh, to get paid back for the upfront costs. I want to move on uh, to another question. Um, in this, the Biden administration has committed the United States to achieving net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050 and is spending trillions of taxpayer dollars to try to achieve it. Um, Secretary Granholm, do you believe the United States has a credible path to meet its net zero greenhouse gas emission goals? Yes. And um, Secretary Granholm, in 2022, the United Nations released a report detailing the possibility of reaching the Paris Climate Agreement's goal of achieving both net zero by 2050 and temperatures not rising over 1.5 degrees Celsius. The report states, quote, current policies do not trace a credible path from 2030 towards the achievement of national net zero targets. The UN report also states, quote, existing policies point to a 2.8 degrees Celsius increase in temperatures by the end of the century. And a 2023 Congressional Research Service report states, quote, none of the modeled scenarios indicate that the United States could meet its 2030 uh, greenhouse gas emissions targets. In fact, no signatory of the Paris Climate Agreement is anywhere near a pathway to achieve their net zero pledges. However, it appears that John Kerry and the Biden administration continue to say these goals are achievable. Why is it that the UN report and the Congressional Research Service reports say one thing and the Biden administration and yourself say another? I missed the date on the UN report. It was 2022. Yeah. that was. Uh First of all, the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act and the bipartisan infrastructure law have given enormous wind in our sails to be able to meet these goals. So our modeling shows that we will receive, we will have a 40% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. That's from the, those two bills alone. That does not account for what the private sector is doing, what other state and local governments are doing. We think we can get to 50%, which is the goal uh, by 2030. We also think and have great, are very bullish about uh, the next 30 years being able to, next 20 years, being able to look at the technology advances that we are seeing. We do think that there is a credible path to be able to get to net zero by 2050, and we're working every day to achieve it. Well, I hope you're right, but a lot of the evidence doesn't show that. Um, and other competing reports say the opposite, because um, we're spending 
trillions of dollars of taxpayer dollars on this. Thank you, and I yield back.